Welcome to the Informed Woman magazine, where science meets clarity and knowledge becomes strength. I'm William Bologna. Let's make women's health understandable together. PCOS is not just a hormone problem. It's a full body endocrine and metabolic disorder. Polycystic ovary syndrome begins with a breakdown in communication between metabolism, hormones, and the ovaries. For many women with PCOS, the process starts with insulin resistance. Cells stop responding efficiently to insulin, forcing the body to release more. This excess insulin overstimulates ovarian theca cells, pushing them to produce more androgens like testosterone. At the same time, insulin suppresses the liver's production of sex hormone binding globulin, leaving more free androgens circulating. These elevated androgens disrupt normal follicle development. Instead of one follicle maturing and ovulating, many stall halfway. This creates the classic polycystic appearance seen on ultrasound. High androgen levels also interfere with the brain's hormonal rhythm. Faster GnRH pulses favor luteinizing hormone over follicle-stimulating hormone. More LH drives even more androgen production, while low FSH prevents follicles from fully maturing. Ovulation doesn't occur. Progesterone stays low. Clinically, this shows up as irregular cycles, missed periods, or infertility. Low-grade inflammation and dysfunctional fat tissue worsen insulin resistance, locking the system into a vicious cycle. And then there's AMH. In PCOS, anti-malarian hormone levels are often two to four times higher than normal. AMH doesn't just reflect excess follicles. It actively blocks follicle maturation and reduces sensitivity to FSH. It may even stimulate the brain to increase LH pulses, reinforcing androgen excess. PCOS is not one defect. It's a self-reinforcing network of disrupted signals. Thanks for watching another video by the Informed Woman magazine. Please feel free to comment and ask questions. Subscribe for more science-driven medical insights.